Joining us from Mount Prospect, Illinois, is the Prospect High School Marching Band. <laughs> Prospect show will include the following musical selections. Best of Overture, Field of Dreams, Dance from Sweet, from the Golden Age, Overture on Russian Themes, from Kyrgyz Folk Songs. Are the judges ready? Drum majors, Nicole Voigt and Kristen Caraselli. Is your band ready? Prospect High School Marching Band, you may take the field in finals competition.
the Prospect High School marching band. The Prospect High School Marching Band is under the direction of Mr. David Morrison, with assistance from Ruth Ann Norman, Brett Kuhn, Tim Hett, and Rick Saplinski. The Prospect High School Marching Band is a former Grand National Championship finalist. They are a seven-time Grand Champion of the University of Illinois Statewide Contest and received the Citation of Excellence from the National Band Association. The Prospect Band has been invited to participate in the 1991 St. Patrick's Day Parade in Dublin, Ireland. From Mount Prospect, Illinois, the Prospect High School Marching Band. Joining us from Tulsa, Oklahoma, is the Union High School Marching Band. Union show will include musical selections from the Ballet Spartacus. Are the judges ready? Drum majors Natalie Pate, Janine Tomble, and John Williamson. Is your band ready? Yeah. Union High School Marching Band, you may take the field in finals competition.
The Union High School Marching Band. The Union High School Marching Band is under the direction of Mr. Dale Barnett, with assistance from Jer Clarkfield, Glenn Gish, and Brian Jackson. The Union High School Marching Band was named class champion at last month's Bands of America Eastern Regional Championship, finishing fourth in finals. The Union Renegade Regiment is a two-time Grand National finalist, finishing fourth in 1986. They have been the Oklahoma State Champion Marching Band four of the past five years and have been a consistent finalist in Bands of America Regional Championships the past ten years. From Tulsa, Oklahoma, the Union High School Marching Band. Joining us from Roselle, Illinois, is the Lake Park High School Marching Band. Lake Park Show will include the following musical selections. The Wind and the Lion, Festival at Marrakesh, and Palavetsian Dances. Are the judges ready? Drum majors Amy Rule and Leroy Bernhardt. Is your band ready? Lake Park High School Marching Band, you may take the field in finals competition.
Wahid. Eight nine. Salata.
the Lake Park High School marching band. The Lake Park High School Marching Band is under the direction of Mr. Kenneth Snook, with assistance from Blake Wiener, Susan Nikan, Pamela Snook, Luann Wiggins, Debbie Wiles, Kevin Lepper, Mike Chiodo, Dave Dombeck, and Sylvester Sibilski. The Lake Park High School Marching Band is the 1989 and 1988 Grand National Class Champion and finished second overall both years. The Lake Park Band finished third at last month's Bands of America Midwest Regional and was the 1988 Mideast Regional Champion. They were the 1990 and 1989 State of Illinois Champion and have been the Illinois Class 6A Champion for eight consecutive years. They have been a Grand National Finalist since 1985. From Roselle, Illinois, the Lake Park High School Marching Band. Joining us from Plymouth Canton, Michigan is the Plymouth Centennial Educational Park Marching Band. Yeah. Yeah. Plymouth's show will include musical selections by Stephen Sondheim. Are the judges ready? Drum majors Matt Miller, Joe Yule, and Matt Hauser. Is your band ready? Plymouth Centennial Marching Band, you may take the field in finals competition.
the Plymouth Centennial Educational Park Marching Band. The Plymouth Centennial Educational Park Marching Band is under the direction of Mr. Glenn Adson. The Plymouth Band is the Bands of America 1990 Mideast Regional Champion, sweeping all four highest achievement awards in finals. They were a 1989 Grand National Finalist and won Best Auxiliary. The Plymouth Band also placed fifth at last year's Mideast Regional, where they also took Best Auxiliary. The Plymouth Marching Band has been the Michigan State MacBeta Champion five of the past six years. The percussion section finished second at last year's Bands of America Marching Percussion Festival. From Plymouth, Canton, Michigan, the Plymouth Centennial Educational Park Marching Band.
The United States Marine Drum and Bugle Corps, formed in 1934, represents the finest in musical and marching excellence of Marines as musicians. Traditionally known as the Commandant's Own, these Marines represent the Marine Corps throughout our nation and abroad. Witnessed by countless thousands of spectators, the unit travels in excess of 50,000 miles while completing nearly 400 appearances annually. The recipients of numerous awards and honors, they are recognized as one of the premier musical units in our country today. We open today's performance with a spiritually uplifting arrangement of Make His Praise Glorious. The versatility of our exciting percussion section was then showcased in their treatment of the Miami Sound Machines, The Rhythm Is Gonna Get You. Following this, we presented for your viewing and listening pleasure our musical tribute to this great country, a moving adaptation of America the Beautiful. To open the second half of our program, the big band styling of our brass section is highlighted in our new treatment of the old standard, Begin the Begin. And we are especially honored to welcome jazz drummer Louis Belson as our special guest, performing with the U.S. Marine Drum and Bugle Corps, presented in part by courtesy of Remo Incorporated.
ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Louis Belson. Time now once again to feature our gifted percussionist, this time with their adaptation of Chick Corea's Gotta Match. Following this, we're pleased to bring you this year's Grammy Award-winning ballad, The Wind Beneath My Wings. The music of the immortal John Philip Sousa's The Stars and Stripes Forever brings to a close this, our 1990 presentation of Music in Motion. Director of the Corps is Lieutenant Colonel Truman W. Crawford of Endicott, New York. Assistant Director is Chief Warrant Officer David C. Wolf of Voorheesville, New York. Drum Major of the Corps is Gunnery Sergeant Michael H. Gardner of Johnson City, Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, Marine Barracks, Washington, D.C., is indeed proud to present the Commandant's Own, the United States Marine Drum and Bugle Corps.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Commandant's own U.S. Marine Drum and Bugle Corps from Washington, D.C. As the night draws to a close, let us take a moment to reflect on the endless hours of rehearsals, preparations, and all the effort that have brought us here tonight. Parading before you, bustling with pride and exploding with color, are our sons and daughters, our bands of America. For the seniors tonight, this is the pot of gold at the end of your rainbow. For the underclassmen, this is a chance to learn and grow, dream and prosper for all an opportunity to celebrate the joy of pursuing and achieving the art of excellence. Join us now in a salute to America's finest musicians, past, present, and future. Enveloped in a world of lyrical melodies and dedicated to the advancement of their fellow man, two of America's most prominent musicians passed away earlier this year. Leonard Bernstein, American educator, composer, conductor, and pianist, was hailed as a musical genius by the American public, composer of numerous scores, including On the Town and Candy. He became the music director of the New York Philharmonic in 1957. He is, however, most vividly remembered for his collaboration with Stephen Sondheim on West Side Story, an unqualified success which will live on forever in America's hearts. Bernstein spent the span of his career developing haunting melodies which ever so passionately told the stories Americans were longing to hear, the stories of life and death, failure and success, and the ever-constant struggle between those forces. His recent death is indeed a loss to the musical community, and tonight we salute his immeasurable talent and his contribution to the American musical culture. Pearl Bailey Belson, the glorious spirit of the stage shall be suspended in time forever. This humanitarian songstress was loved and admired across the globe for her courageous works with children of all ages, races, and social backgrounds. As a leader in the music community, she received many honors and recognitions and still continued to give of herself throughout her lifetime. From early on, she longed to be a school teacher and spent endless hours lecturing not only in our country, but in nations across the globe as well. In the words of Pearl Bailey, it is difficult to speak of accomplishments when I feel I'm only on this earth to do whatever God wills, and there are no limits to what one can and must do to help humanity. Pearl leaves us behind, supported by loving fans, her husband of 38 years, Louis Belson. We join with him in acknowledging her special gift to the musical world and her rare gift of love for all of humanity. Before you stands the future of the greatest nation ever known to mankind, the United States of America. We salute these young people who chose to put forth their maximum effort because they refused to settle for anything less than excellence. The thousands of talented performers we have witnessed over the past few days serve as a positive testimony to the immeasurable value that music brings to the understanding of life. They represent the epitome of what is possible when cooperation, dedication, and commitment become the foundation for a common goal. As we look upon the 1990 finalists, we extend our sincere congratulations to all of the parents, staff, and administrators who banded together to spotlight their community's finest ambassadors. And we shimmer with pride, knowing that we have witnessed greatness. For these are not the students who meet the standards, but rather those who set them. Without question, the 1990 Grand Nationals has set the stage for dreams to become reality. And we have all shared in this once-in-a-lifetime experience. 
Let us all join now in acknowledging our most valuable treasure, the greatest visionary talent we possess, our Bands of America. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting our Bands of America 1990 Grand National Championship finalist bands. Before we present tonight's finalist awards, Bands of America would like to make a special presentation to tonight's guest performer, donor dinner keynote speaker, and our dear friend, Mr. Louis Belson. Please join us in showing our appreciation to Mr. Belson for his immeasurable contributions to music and music education and for being such a special part of this 15th anniversary Grand National Celebration as Bands of America Executive Director Scott McCormick presents this plaque of appreciation. One of Bands of America's most important awards presented at Grand National Championship is the Al Castronovo Esprit de Corps Award. The special trophy is presented to the participating band from among all 55 bands performing here this weekend who has best exemplified the spirit, teamwork, support, and enthusiasm that are the essence of what the band activity is all about. Bands of America staff, swag team, members, hosts, and volunteers feel that one band in particular deserves our special recognition for their show of these qualities this weekend. The Esprit de Corps Award is presented in honor and memory of Mr. Al Castronovo, band director, advisory board member, and dear friend of Bands of America. Throughout his life and teaching career, Al truly lived by these ideals and represented the best that music and band has to offer. The Bands of America 1990 Grand National Esprit de Corps Award goes to the Jenison High School Marching Band from Jenison, Michigan.
We will begin by presenting this evening's highest achievement awards. With these awards, Bands of America recognizes outstanding performance in four areas. Outstanding music performance, outstanding visual performance, outstanding general effect, and outstanding auxiliary. All finalist bands are eligible for the outstanding music, visual, and general effect awards. All 55 performing bands are eligible for outstanding auxiliary. Highest Achievement Awards are being presented by Mr. Michael Coomer, Dean of the School of Music at Duquesne University, and Dr. Tim Lotzenheiser, President of Attitude Concepts for Today, and a member of the Board of Directors for Bands of America. The award for outstanding music goes to the Westfield High School Marching Band from Houston, Texas. Thing. Here we go. I want you to look right here. Ready? One, two, three. Thank you. The award for outstanding visual goes to the Plymouth Centennial Educational Park Marching Band from Plymouth Canton, Michigan. Picture Tim on one end, backing up here. All right, right here. One, two, three. Whoa. <laughs> one, two, three. The award for outstanding general effect goes to the Plymouth Centennial Marching Band from Plymouth, Canton, Michigan. The award for Outstanding Auxiliary goes to the Union High School Marching Band from Tulsa, Oklahoma. We will now present placement awards and name our Bands of America 1990 class champions and grand national champion. Placement awards will be presented by Mr. Scott McCormick, Dr. Tim Lotzenheiser, Mr. Michael Coomer, and our music industry sponsors. In 14th place, presenting the award will be Mr. Craig Harms of Pi Graphics. with a score of 75.65, 75.65, the Adair County High School Marching Band from Columbia, Kentucky. Don't move, you gotta get a picture right here. All right, look straight at me in the middle. One, two, three. Okay. In 13th place, presenting will be Mr. Doug Green of Heritage Festivals. With a score of 77.45 and our 1990 Bands of America A Division Champion, the Western High School Marching Band from Rusheville, Indiana. In 12th place, 
Presenting will be Mr. Mark Swenson of Selmer. With a score of 82.75, the Prospect High School Marching Band from Mount Prospect, Illinois. In 11th place, presenting will be Mr. Ward Durrett of Ludwig. With a score of 84.80, the George Rogers Clark High School Marching Band from Winchester, Kentucky. In 10th place, presenting will be Mr. Bob Morrison of the Pearl Corporation. With a score of 85.15, the McGavick High School Marching Band of Nashville, Tennessee. Just stand shoulder to shoulder so we get a nice picture here. In ninth place, presenting will be Mr. Rob Carson of Remo. With a score of 87.45, the Union High School Marching Band from Tulsa, Oklahoma. In eighth place, presenting will be Mr. Jay Wanamaker of Yamaha. With a score of 87.70, the Norwin High School Marching Band of North Huntington, Pennsylvania. In seventh place, with a score of 90.60, the Westerville South High School Marching Band from Westerville, Ohio. In sixth place, with a score of 90.65, the Marion Catholic High School Marching Band from Chicago Heights, Illinois. In fifth place, with a score of 90.70, the Lassiter High School Marching Band from Marietta, Georgia. In fourth place, with a score of 90.80, and our 1990 Bands of America AA Division Champion, 
the West Genesee High School Marching Band from Camillus, New York. In third place, with a score of 94.35, the Lake Park High School Marching Band from Roselle, Illinois. In second place, with a score of 95.30, the Westfield High School Marching Band from Houston, Texas. And in first place, with a score of 95.35, and our Bands of America 1990 Grand National Champion and Class AAA Champion, the Plymouth Centennial Educational Park Marching Band from Plymouth Canton, Michigan.